Jesus, you were good. And I rest in you. God is good. What's poppin', guys? My name is Evan Winning, and welcome to the offline New International Version of the Holy Bible. Okay, so today we're reading Genesis 3. Let's get right into it. Now the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God really say, You must not eat from any tree in the garden? The woman said to the serpent, We may eat fruit from the trees in the garden. But God did say, You must not eat fruit from the tree that is in the middle of the garden. And you must not touch it, or you will die. You will not certainly die, the serpent said to the woman. For God knows that when you eat from it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. When the woman saw that the fruit of the tree was good for food, and pleasing to the eye, and also desirable for gaining wisdom, she took some and ate it. She also gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate it. Now, here's something to think here. Her husband, Adam is called Eve's husband, yet they were never pronounced married. And in heaven it says that there is no marriage. Love can still happen in heaven. For those who have those kind of heart's desires, God's going to fulfill them no matter where you are. Uh, where was I? Who was with her and he ate it. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they realized they were naked, and they sewed fig leaves together and made coverings for themselves. Then the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord God as he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And they hid from the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid. And he said, Who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the, true, the tree that I commanded you not to eat from? The man said, The woman you put here with me, she gave me some fruit from the tree, and I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this you have done? The woman said, The serpent deceived me, and I ate. So the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed are you above all livestock and all wild animals. You will crawl on your belly. You will eat dust all the days of your life, and I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will crush your head, and you will strike his heel. To the woman he said, I will make your pains in childbearing very severe. With painful labor, you will give birth to children. Your desire will be for your husband, and he will rule over you. Now, when God said he's going to, like, um, make it so that there's pain in childbirth, it doesn't mean he hates us. He didn't want this to happen. But he has to punish us because he loves us. That's when Jesus Christ came down and saved us from that really big punishment. Plus, he'll forgive your sins if you ask him to. Uh, where was I? Oh, to Adam he said, Because you listened to your wife and ate fruit from the tree about which I commanded you, you must not eat from it. Cursed is the ground because of you. Through painful toil, you will eat food from it all the days of your life. It will produce thorns and thistles for you, and you will eat the plants of the field. By the sweat of your brow, you will eat your food until you return to the ground, since from it you were taken, uh, for dust you are, and dust you will return. Adam named his wife Eve because she would become the mother of all the living. The Lord God made garments of skin for Adam and his wife and clothed them. And the Lord God said, The man has now become like one of us. Remember? Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Us. The man has now become like one of us, knowing good and evil. He must not be allowed to reach out his hand and take also from the tree of life and eat, and live forever. That does not mean that God does not love him anymore. So the Lord God banished him from the Garden of Eden to work the ground from which he had been taken. After he drove the man out, 
he placed on the east side of the Garden of Eden cherubim, and a flaming sword flashing back and forth to guard the way to the tree of life. <sighs> it's pretty sad. But be right there. My dog's playing with Sila, my sister. It's sad that this happened, but God always provides a way for grace. And he saves us. I know, be right there. Please be patient. That's why he sent his son Jesus to die for us. And go and fight the devil for three days. And on the third day he rose again with the authority of uh with the authority over who goes to heaven, who goes to hell, and the righteous and the ones in God go to heaven. And the ones who aren't with God are lost. It's really sad. But Jesus has given everyone a chance now. As he always has. Thank you guys so much for watching. Keep on liking. Keep on subscribing. Keep on living. God loves you.